An automaker's initial product can reveal a lot about its ambitions, but its second offering is often more telling, reflecting its growth and development. Rivian has now unveiled what it calls the second generation of the R1 lineup. We recently tested the 2025 R1S, and while it may not look much different at first glance, it has undergone significant refinement. Addressing issues, there is good news right away. Rivian is listening to its customers and critics. We were among many who highlighted the SUV's dynamic shortcomings, especially when compared to the well-balanced R1T pickup. Rivian's engineers took this feedback seriously. To recap, the first generation R1S had some ride and handling issues. The front and rear didn't respond in harmony, the steering felt disconnected, and the SUV tended to squat during hard acceleration, reminiscent of a speedboat taking time to plane. The 2025 R1S features a comprehensive suspension overhaul, including softer front and stiffer rear spring rates, updated bushing packs and top mount rings, an improved hydraulic roll mitigation system, and new tuning for the adaptive dampers. While the R1T suspension remains mostly unchanged, it now shares the updated bushings and top mounts with the R1S. As a result, the R1T's ride and handling remain consistent. The firmer rear springs have eliminated the nose-up launches, confirmed at the drag strip, and the roll control updates have significantly reduced head toss. The entire vehicle now feels more cohesive, from steering input to chassis response. Persistent issues. Two issues remain. Front-to-rear porpoising has been minimized, but the rear now feels underdamped, causing minor imperfections like highway expansion joints to make the back end bob slightly. A Rivian chassis engineer is hopeful they can replicate this issue and fix it with a software update, possibly by adjusting the suspension's load compensation algorithm. Additionally, the suspension hits the bump stops on the highway because suspension travel is limited in the lowest ride height, setting to reduce aerodynamic drag. Rivian has made the bump stop softer and longer for a more progressive response, so while you still feel the interaction, it's not harsh. Partial credit there. Power and performance. Now, let's talk numbers. The dual motor configuration, featuring a motor at each axle, remains unchanged with 533 horsepower and 610 pound-feet of torque. The dual motor performance version, which uses the same hardware but tweaked software, delivers 665 horsepower and 829 pound-feet of torque. These models can be identified by their silver brake calipers and black badge outlines. For those seeking even more power, there's the new tri-motor powertrain. It combines the dual single-motor unit at the front with the quad-motor's two-motor unit at the rear. The tri-motor delivers 850 horsepower and 1103 pound-feet of torque, surpassing the outgoing quad-motor. The tri-motor models are marked by yellow calipers and badge outlines, which used to be a feature of the quad-motor models. But that's not all. The quad motor now offers an astounding 1025 horsepower and 1198 pound-feet of torque, breaking into the four-digit power territory. We don't think the five-horsepower advantage over the Tesla Model X Plaid is a coincidence. Look for teal accents and a cute badge on the quad's liftgate depicting Rivian's mascot, a Yeti named GearGuard, with his fur blown back by the immense power. Both the Tri and Quad now use Rivian design motors, replacing the Quad's previous Bosch units. The Dual Motors 2 motors were already fully in-house designs. To handle all that power, Rivian has upgraded the tires. The Quad gets Rivian's first set of staggered wheels and tires, featuring 22-inch Michelin Pilot Sport S5 tires with a 275 section width in the front and 305 in the rear. This setup is expected to enable a sub 2.5 second 0 to 60 miles per hour run. Rivian hasn't provided final curb weight figures yet, but expects them to be similar to the first-gen models. The R1S Tri is projected to hit 60 miles per hour in about 2.9 seconds, improving on the 3.1 second run we achieved with the 2022 R1S Launch Edition. The Quad also has a higher top speed limiter, increased from 111 miles per hour to 130 miles per hour so it won't hit a speed ceiling before the end of the quarter mile like it did previously. Instrumented testing will be necessary to verify these claims, but we can confirm it's fast enough to make you feel the G-forces. For those who prefer less extreme tire and wheel combinations, Rivian offers several unique options. 
A 22-inch Pirelli Scorpion M Plus S tire mounted on an aero wheel with a removable center spat is designed to combine the range of the former 21-inch tire with the performance of the outgoing 22-inch package. An EV-specific Goodyear Adventure tire balances on-road comfort and off-road capabilities. To power those impressive motor setups, Rivian offers three battery pack sizes, standard, large, and max. The base battery now uses lithium iron phosphate chemistry, shared with Rivian's delivery vans. It provides 92.5 kilowatt hours of usable energy, with an estimated range of around 270 miles for the dual motor configuration. The large and max packs have been re-engineered using 2,170 cells and are now housed in a die-cast carrier instead of extruded aluminum, which reduces weight and offers manufacturing and servicing benefits. The large pack, which might be better called medium now, has a usable capacity of 109.4 kilowatt hours, down from the previous large's 128.9 kilowatt hours. The max pack sees a slight improvement, offering 141.5 kilowatt hours of usable energy. When paired with the dual motor sufficient energy usage, this pack should deliver a range of around 410 miles. The tri-motor's range won't be much less, as it uses the same front motor as the dual, and all Rivians can disconnect their rear motors to improve efficiency. Looks the same, except where it doesn't. Rivian has focused on enhancing the unseen aspects of the vehicle, but there are some noticeable updates to the 2025 R1S. Fun fact, we were picked up from the airport in a 2025 R1S and didn't realize it until the driver informed us. Rivian's signature lighting elements have received an update. The light bar spanning the front and rear remains, as do the stadium, shaped headlights, but these have been redesigned to add more visual interest and depth. The light bars now feature 10 RGB segments that can display animations, including one for showing charging progress and others to direct traffic around your stop vehicle. Additionally, there's talk of an update to Rivian's Halloween mode that might be on the way. The Squoval headlights have been updated with new components, enabling several new features. One available feature is the adaptive dynamic bending light function. Rivian is also finalizing its adaptive drive beam feature, similar to the Matrix LED systems that several automakers have promised over the years and which are now legal in the US. This system can activate or deactivate individual LEDs to maximize light coverage without blinding oncoming drivers. Depending on when Rivian rolls out this software update, it could be the first company to offer this feature in the US. The turn signals have been relocated from the headlight units to the bumper, where the fog lights used to be. The front fog lights have been removed entirely but Rivian plans to reintegrate them through a headlight software update. The company is also introducing what it calls the Rivian Autonomy Platform to enable new features and increased automation down the line. It uses 11 cameras of higher quality than before, as well as 5 radars to sense its surroundings, and then has its AI, which is built on top of NVIDIA Drive Orin hardware, make ADAS decisions. The existing Highway Assist function falls into this category.